Hi, I'm Annie. Today I want to talk about how you can hack the algorithm of the universe. I use hashtags every day. I think a lot of us do. I use them on Etsy to tag my products. I use them on Instagram, TikTok, and also on YouTube so that people can find my videos. So for example, on Etsy, this earring here would be double zero gauge ceramic plug or 10 millimeter taper or double zero gauge flower taper, you know, on and on. You get 13 tags on Etsy. And I use those tags to communicate with the algorithm so that people can find my products when they're searching. If they're searching for 10 millimeter gauges, then hopefully my product will rank for that search. I often put the name of my shop in the tags. My online business is called Handsome Annie, and a lot of times in my Etsy tags, I'll actually put in Handsome Annie because someone may have bought something from me in the past and they'll sort of vaguely remember the name, something about Annie and Handsome some, and they'll search that and then my shop will come up. Do the same thing for YouTube. Somebody might vaguely remember the name Miserable Cow and then they search it on YouTube and all of my videos come up right away. Well, I write in my journal every day and one of the things that I do is list all the things that I'm grateful for. And the way that I write them is with these bullet points. So a big dot, then the thing that I'm grateful for. Puppies, tacos, a good night's sleep, long walks on the beach, objective personality community. That comes up a lot when I'm bullet pointing the things that I'm grateful for. And one morning I was doing this practice in my journal and I was kind of on autopilot, still kind of waking up, drinking the first few sips of coffee and writing down all the things that I'm grateful for. I put in the tag, miserable cow. I'm grateful for miserable cow, which is the name of this channel. And it was really just because I was going on autopilot and listing the things that I was grateful for is so similar to writing Instagram hashtags or Etsy hashtags that I sort of forgot what I was doing and I was like oh yeah best practices throw miserable cow in there you know throw handsome Annie in there while we're at it but I forgot that I was actually listing things that I was grateful for and then I thought well you know I am grateful for miserable cow obviously I'm grateful for my YouTube channel because it's just one of the greatest teaching tools that I've ever come across and then I also started to think wow listing these things that I'm grateful for in this way with these bullet points is is very much like creating tags, very much like communicating with the algorithm of the universe. Just the same way that I try to communicate with the Etsy algorithm. I'm trying to send out a signal that says, hey, set the filters this way or that way. When you tag an Instagram post, you are communicating with the algorithm and you're asking the algorithm to set the filters in such a way that your post will rank for X, Y, or Z. If it's it's a cute and cuddly kitten, then you want your post to rank for cute cuddly kitten. So then the filters are set to allow certain information through and keep other information out. That is very much how consciousness works. Everyday consciousness and perception keeps out more than it lets in. We're perceiving a very, very narrow slice of everything that is possible to perceive. If we perceived it all at once, it would be really overwhelming and confusing. So our filters allow certain kinds of information in and keeps a lot of stuff out. And once you realize this, you can start to play around with it and you realize that you actually have some control over the way that those filters are set. You can communicate with the algorithm and intend for the filters to be set, you know, in a specific way. This is what happens when you notice things that you're grateful for and write them down. You're asking the algorithm to set the filters for a specific thing. If you want your life to rank for being a better writer, then you would notice and appreciate instances of good writing in others or yourself. Maybe you read a wonderful poem by Mary Oliver and you really appreciate it. Just by appreciating good writing, you're sort of setting the filters of your consciousness to notice more and more instances of good writing. The same thing works with pessimism. The more that you notice unpleasant things and you maybe even say to yourself, shitty things happen and all the time, life is unfair, then you are communicating with the algorithm and you are setting the filters to notice more and more things that are shitty and unfair. When you aim your intentions towards something or when you aim your appreciation at something, your life organizes around that. Your perception organizes itself around that belief or that appreciation or that thing that you've noticed. You can't get anywhere unless you first aim something 
somewhere. And then when you do aim and appreciate and admire, your perception organizes itself around that aim. Since your perception filters out more than it lets in, it has to let something in. And you can influence those filters. You can influence what is allowed into perception and what goes unnoticed. I saw a Facebook post one time and it was one of those lists of funny things that kids say. And there was one very wise kid who said, first you make a wish and then you do the wish. This is so wise because that's how wishes work. You make a wish, but then you roll up your sleeves and you get to work and you do the wish. Action is usually required to achieve a goal. So you communicate with the algorithm, set the filters in an optimal way for your goal, and then you roll up your sleeves and get to work. I used to really struggle with the idea of the law of attraction. I thought it was just hippie bullshit hogwash. And now I see that it's actually just a natural law. It's just the way that perception works. You learn that you have a little bit of control over what you perceive and what you ignore. And that sounds really simple, but it is actually incredibly powerful. Because once you start to really own that, you realize that you can optimize your perception for success. And it's just like using hashtags. My understanding of gratitude is deeper. The effectiveness of this technique is more powerful the more consistently I use it. And I have used it extremely consistently over the last three years, writing what I'm grateful for in my journal every day. The longer you do it, I think the more that you will start to notice the magic of it. And you will also start to notice that it isn't really magic, it's just reality. It's just how reality works. And it's pretty cool. Hashtag blessed. As always, if you want to schedule a session with me, you can use the link in the description.